Yeah. So I've got the Leica GeoVid 3200. These are the Bluetooth version where you could upload from your phone the ballistics data to your um, specific uh, bullet and rifle combination. And the ballistic solver will give you a solution out to a thousand yards. Now I've had these for a little while now. Um, I've used these multiple times uh, on multiple shooting trips and they're, they've been really good. I have a few um, things I wanna talk about, but first I wanna show you guys what they're capable of as far as the max distance, right? Yeah, anything within 2,000 yards, it picks up super easy. But as soon as you start going over 2,000, it struggles. Yep. All right, so as you guys saw the uh, GeoVid 3200s, they are very accurate, um, or that I should say they have very quick, accurate, repeatable results, one click results out to about 2200 to 2500 yards, depending on the conditions of the day. But um, within 2000 yards, for sure, like one click accuracy is, uh, is right on, it's spot on. If you followed my channel for any amount of time, you've seen me use the handheld non uh, the non-binocular, the 1600-B rangefinder. And that one's rated out to 1600 meters. And, you know, if any of you are in the market to buy a rangefinder, basically whatever the advertised max distance that it could get, just divide that by two. And that's about the expected one-click accuracy that you could get. Sure, can you go out to that 1600? Yes, but it's like one measurement with like 20 clicks. I mean, like you're sitting around there trying to find the perfect item to, or the perfect object to uh, get a reflection off of. Um, so same with these, you know, these are the 3200s and I found that between, you know, 2000 and 2200, uh, one click accuracy is consistent, uh, but it still fails. But like right at 1600, which is half of the max distance that it's advertised, Absolutely, every single time, uh, almost any single object, it will range, so keep that in mind. So some of the pros, guys, uh, when you open up the app, I'm gonna screen record here, um, but basically, you scroll over, uh, and you could find how to connect to all of it, but I wanted to just show you guys the more specific um, uh, stuff that, I found that the manual didn't really explain very well. So up top here, you have the option to choose between US and uh, European. I believe that's just meters versus yards. When you click on the ballistic profile here, scroll all the way down and hit customized. And then your zeroing range, they only give you these three options, the 100, 200, and 300. And you know, for, for myself, like I zero my rifle out to 106 yards. And I found that even out to a thousand yards, or sorry, 2000 yards, um, having a slightly different zero in my ballistics calculator only affects it within about a quarter click. So, um, you know, nothing to worry there too much about it. And then this setting here, the ABC, the ballistic setting, uh, it's not ideal. It, it doesn't make a whole lot of sense, but basically you have your EHR, which is your equivalent whole, uh, horizontal range, your holdover, which it will give you in inches or centimeters. And then 
the two that you that I click that I use or I think that are the most useful is the clicks the one MOA and the clicks 10 millimeters per 10 10 millimeters per 100 meters and so the clicks one MOA will actually give you a reading like if you range out to a thousand it'll give you like 29.2 you know MOA uh, if you click on the clicks one quarter MOA it'll give you like I don't know 30 times four is 120 it'd be like you know 100 120 clicks and that's useless because you're not going to be sitting there going one two three four five six seven you know uh so use the one moa if you're using a uh an moa scope and then if you're using a mill scope um this is kind of a letdown a little bit in my opinion but the clicks 10 millimeters per 100 meters will get you the closest what it'll give you say if you're shooting you know, a 300 PRC at a thousand yards, it's like seven mils or, or a little bit over, depending on what the, your, uh, your ballistics data is. Instead of saying 7.0, it'll read 70. Um, and that's 70 clicks because that's the only options that it, that it gives you there for the mils. Um, so, you know, it, it's not really an issue. It's just, it'll say 70. You just have to know that it's 7.0. So you just dial your, your, your turret to seven. And that is, that is it so you click on one of those uh and my device isn't connected right now but it'll give you at the bottom a transfer data settings and then just to the right of the settings on the on the right once you transfer that information you click on your ballistics and i have a few here um you know this is my uh, the 220 point or 200.20 x that i've been shooting i have all my information up in here and we, and then you have to hit compute and save data. And this is what brings me to my first issue that I have with this, um, is if you don't have internet connection, it will not compute your calculator. So let me just quickly turn on my, my Wi-Fi or my uh, internet service. All right, so now that my internet is on, now I could hit compute down here and it thinks it's developing a load and it only gives you out to a thousand yards, which is fine with me because thousand yards uh, is all I plan on ever taking a shot on an animal. Anything beyond that is just target practice and I've got time. I've, I could use a separate ballistics calculator. And then on the bottom here, you hit transfer and save. It gives you like a little warning, you hit okay. And then it automatically ups, uploads and give you, gives you uh, a screen saying that yes, it uploaded. And then you're good to go. Um, you just close the app and you just use that and so you repeat that process anytime you want to change your rifle and uh it typically won't be an issue like if you're hunting but if you're up shooting with multiple rifles and you don't have internet service whatever one you upload the last time that you had internet service will be the only one that you could use in here so um i found that to be a little bit of a i don't know bummer because i don't know why they want you to have internet connection to um to be able to use the ballistics calculator. Like that should be an offline mode. So this is how the ballistics work here. You click 932 and it gives you, you know, a measurement 26.0. So this is for my 260 Remington 960, 27.3. Now let's measure, measure something a little bit further. 1161 it'll just give you dashes because the ballistics calculator maxes out at a thousand now let's come in a little bit 811 20.5 and again i've validated all these numbers guys um, i have shot a lot of these ranges um, and it is definitely accurate here's another one 824 gives you a quick reading 20.1 this is probably over a thousand, yeah, 11, 16. Um, so there you go. You see an animal, click it, you get it, you dial, you shoot. There you go. All right, so I hope you guys enjoy this quick little uh, review of the Leica Geovid 3200.coms. Um, they're good, man. Uh, one of the other things comparing them to like a cheaper Vortex Diamondback, 
the glass is exceptional. The field of view is exceptional. Um, I've had a few people look through them. Uh, you know, a couple guys that use like Zeiss uh, rangefinders, and they love. You know, comparing the glass to theirs, they said that it is a little bit better than what they have. So um, I've never looked through the Zeiss. I can't tell you guys firsthand, but um, you know, my one friend that does have the Zeiss. Uh, binocular rangefinders. He's he thought that these were a little bit better. So yeah, take it for what it's worth. Uh, thank you guys for your continued support. If you're new to the channel, please hit that subscribe button. I'll see you next time. Thousand sixty one with a minus six.